All right, so I'm gonna go over my ADS interface with a uh, 92 BMW 850i. This should work on any pre-96 uh, BMW. You've got your 20-pin connector there. I bought just the cheapest, so we can focus that a little bit better. I bought the, just the cheapest OBD2 to 20-pin, sorry, it's kinda hard to see in this light. OBD2 to 20-pin cable, and I just soldered on some Cat5, Cat6. And <clears throat> on eBay, there's a guy who makes a custom PCB it's got all the pin numbers labeled on the back. It was super easy to, to solder together. Uh, you gotta have something with a real serial port. Those USB to serial adapters just don't seem to work. Um, if you have an older laptop like this, you can get a PCMCIA one, but only a few of those even work. So, um, assuming you've done all the, uh, the DIY to get INPA installed, go ahead and run it. Sorry for the fisheye lens here, that's all I've got. Um, so, Input should come up like that. Right now I've got the uh, the key off. So if I have the car charging, I'll go ahead and key that on. Okay. So now we show ignition on. Uh, for the 8 series, we go Shift F9 for older models. That'll pop up. I'm going to go to body. And just for a, a demo, I'll do instrument cluster, just because it's easy to see. Serial's a little bit slower than the USB cables, so I'm going to go to F6, activate, and then F6 again to activate a self-test. Uh, it always gives me this error. I'm just going to hit no. I think that's just so it doesn't continually send the, uh, the test error, or sorry, the test code to the cluster. But you can see it's doing its... It sweeps, so that, that uh, simple ADS adapter definitely talks to the car. And this isn't an automatic, I actually bought this to code automatics. It should do that, but uh, this is a six-speed car, so um, I can go into uh, engine coding. You can look at live values for this car's an electronic throttle, so you can see the position of the potentiometer for the accelerator pedal, and some other fun stuff like that. I'll go into that quick and then I'll finish up this video. I don't want to make it too long. So I'll go EML M70. Probably going to get an error here too, but it will load. Maybe not. Give me a second, I'll try to figure this out. Alright, I just had to wait a few more seconds, it came up just fine. Um, I think I'm going to hit F5 for status, and then I'm going to go to analog, which is F2. So right now we've got the throttle potentiometer on the right, and coolant temperature on the left. I recently drove it, so that's probably a little more elevated than normal, but as you can see, this thing it can do everything. I mean, it, it's talking to it just like a genuine BMW tool. So, if you're trying to get ADS working, um, the main hurdles I ran into on this, beyond the standard install, you've got to go into the uh, Ed Bias INI file, which is, I think, I'll go there. <laughs> Pardon the computer, it's like a Pentium 2. Uh, it's in your C drive, Eddie Ebbs. Uh, bin. And then it's ediabus, uh, dot ini. Open that in a text edit and then change your uh, auto OBD to just ADS. And run the ADS installer.exe, restart your computer, and that will get it working. Um, I had an error rate when I was launching it that I couldn't talk to the adapter at first, but now that's all gone. So that's in a nutshell what I did to get ADS working with the uh, the, the eBay stuff on an old crap top on my uh, 8 series.